This is our uh, last lecture, so that we will talk about the colors, and also we also will briefly talk about uh, how we can design a dashboard. So dashboard is a uh, um, is a static or a dynamic um, visualization where you have multiple elements that together, like charts, um, maps, etc., that to um, to visualize and also dis to display your information. So first, let's talk about color. So let's see that uh, how many lines are here. Can you tell? Okay, so you can pause the video and see how many lines. And if now we give the lines a different color, say the red colors, so how many lines are there? So now you will see that you can immediately count the number of lines uh, comparing to without uh, giving the nines different colors, so that so there are several reasons that we why we want to use colors. The first one is that uh, color has special meanings, and that is very right, suitable to convey meanings, so that uh, some uh, so that uh, uh, like especially that emotions. Um, for example, the red colors. It's kind of warm, and also uh, the blue colors is kind of cold. So those colors are also called the warm colors, and also those colors are also called cold colors. And they also can commit some emotions, and we will see that later. Um, and also, it's very great for the clarifi uh, uh, clarification and also emphasize. Like we can use warm colors to emphasize in the spatial features. Uh, we can also use Cold colors to highlight some features, and it also makes the maps uh, beautiful. Um, so by adding different colors, and also it's a way that effect way that to illustrate quantitative and qualitative data. So um, such as complex map, um, and finally, so when we creating when we are creating maps, so sometimes we also want to represent reality. So for example, we, we normally use blue color to indicate water, uh, water body, and also we use green color to indicate the grass or trees, etc. So we, we also want to represent the reality. Okay, so let's see one example here. So in this example, um, the author is using the, the cold color, so like the, the blue, uh, to highlight uh, the numbers that the highlight the portions that they want to emphasize. So that is easy to uh, tell the audience what is a topic of this uh, dashboard. And if you look at um, those two visualizations, and we can see that the colors uh, also have different messages. Okay, uh, it's especially like for this one, we can see the bloody tools. And for this one, you can see the Death is declining. Okay, uh, they are representing the same data set. However, the, the feeling are totally different. Okay, uh, so the colors can also be very emotional and also uh, uh, very, very uh, subjective. Uh, the physical properties of the colors. Uh, I think we all have learned this one somewhere from the uh, remote sensing lecture that the reason that we can see different colors is because uh, the materials reflect different portion of the wavelengths of the light. Okay, all the EMS, electron, uh, electromagnetic uh, uh, energy spectrum. Okay, so for example, if we see the object is red because that object reflects most of the uh, EMS in the red portion wavelengths, and if that one is blue, so that is because it reflects most of the energy set in the blue wavelengths. White is because it reflects uh, the same amount in all wavelengths, and black just means that reflect um, um, not a lot in all wavelengths. And when we, when we also talk about the components of colors, so there are three um, Components. The first one is hue, so that basically that the names of different colors. Okay, for example, is that red, uh, orange, yellow, uh, green, 
purple, blue, etc. So normally we would say that there are 12 hues or 12 different type of the colors. Saturation means that the intensity or the purity of the color. So that means that we, we compare the pure color to the natural gray. Okay, so if you add more gray to your colors, uh, your, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the intensity will be um, lower and also your purity will be lower. The value of the color indicates the quality of the lightness or dark, darkness. Okay, so that is that dark or is that light of the color. And we also have two types of the color theories. Uh, so the one is called uh, additive color theory in which that we have three primary colors, red, green, and also blue colors. So those are the three primary colors. And all three together uh, will generate uh, the white colors. So all three together will generate white colors. This color theory has been used by like digital um, screens, like our computer monitors, uh, television screens, uh, movie fields, etc. So those are all the result of, of those additive primary colors. Okay, so that is the additive color theory. And we also have this, this subjective color theories, which uh, has three primary colors, magenta, cyan, and also yellow. Okay, and all three together will generate this black color. Okay, so all three together will generate this black color. So, and this color theory has been used in printers. So, uh, so that's why that when you buy the inks, so normally they are will be magenta, cyan, and also yellow. Those three types of inks, and also sometimes you will also have the black ink, which is because that is used most frequently. Okay, um. And also the, the color wheel. So color wheel is a way that uh, uh, we organize the different types of hues. And if we look at the color wheels, and we can see that green and also red are opposite to each other. Okay. Uh, so if you want to use color, different type of colors to highlight the opposite features, and you can choose the color wheels that is uh, opposite to each other. However, keep in mind that many people that they have difficulties in distinguishing between red and also green. Uh, so you can move the color wheel a little bit so that instead of using red, green um, um, combinations, uh, what is more um, recommended is use blue versus orange. Okay, so which is a, is a better choice that will be more friendly to people who have difficulties in distinguishing red and also green colors. And as we said earlier, so color can be, especially the re reactions to colors um, can be very, very subjective. So here, let's say we have different types of colors, different hues. Uh, so you can pause the video here and ask yourself, so uh, what are your reactions when you see each type of the colors, okay? And those are the, uh, re those common reactions uh, from different studies. For example, when we look at the yellow, uh, so it's a very strong warming sense. And also the same for the red, so that's why that they had been used on the traffic light. Um, and also blue is kind of silence and coldness. And green, nature, spring. Um, Purple, royalty, dignity, white, cleanness, faith, and purity, and also sickness. Uh, gray, uh, quiet and reserved, uh, controlled motions, and black, strength, heaviness, etc. Okay, and also the color combination is also very uh, subjective. Uh, so, however, so different people may have different uh, preference of those color combinations. Uh, so, but if you look at those type of color com uh, color combinations, like uh, black on yellow, white on red, and also white on blue, so ask yourself 
So which is your favorite color combination and also which that you, you hate the most. Okay, so according to two studies that we see that yellow and black are the both uh, on the both studies are the best um, color combinations. Okay, and however the red and green red and green is the worst color combination from both studies. And also you can see that um, they rank different color combinations. So this can serve as a reference that when you are creating maps. So hopefully you will try to avoid using these color combinations unless you're you're talking about prisoners.